Medical care for service members and their families was a top priority for Secretary of the Army Pete Guerin in his recent visit to Korea. I sat down with Secretary Guerin to talk about how the Army is recognizing wounded warrior care for soldiers in Korea and around the world. Sir, November has been designated as Warrior Care Month. What, what does that mean for service members and their families? Uh, Warrior Care Month is an opportunity for us as Army and all, all the services, that, but it's an opportunity for us in the Army to reconfirm our commitment to take care of those who have borne the battle, our ill and our injured soldiers, and also support their families. Uh, over the course of the last two years, we have made considerable additional investments in, in health care across the service. Sir, can you tell us about your visit to the 121 Brian Allgood Community Hospital? I had a great visit out to the Allgood Hospital yesterday. Met with the medical professionals out there, met with the doctors, and met with the nurses, and met with the staff that work out there, as well as met with, with some patients. They're doing an excellent job out there. They, they've identified a few areas where they'd like to have some additional support, and we're, we're going to work on that. But it's a top quality facility. It's a, uh, they have recently invested to improve it. And uh, most importantly, though, they've got a staff out there that's committed to taking care of soldiers and committed to taking care of their families. Secretary Guerin says Wounded Care Month both reaffirms the Army's commitment to wounded warriors and recognizes their sacrifices. Army Sergeant Craig Rader, Yongsan, Korea.